Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and this is Vlogmas. I don't know the date. 19? 20? 20. Yeah, you guys, I've had a long day. Um, so I will show you what's in drawer 20, and then the rest of this video is, this video will be titled Vlogmas 19, Holy Cats, that's a lot of hats. This goes back to the first year that I made hats for all the second graders. And I so show you all of them completely done and everything. A little, a little redundant since as I finish them every once in a while I'll show you. But there might be one or two that I didn't show you. Here's the drawer for today. Vlogmas 20. That's why it's sad it took me that long to realize <sighs> what the date is. This yarn is called Fudge. Now, I don't know what kind of fudge you guys eat in UK, but ours is chocolate, darker than this. But whatever. And then inside is a cookie cutter. Last year we got a few of these. I'm actually really liking the snowflake. Okay, so I did not yet do yesterday's square. I had a whole lot of things going on. I just barely finished crocheting the little ornaments that I wanted to make for my teacher friends. I actually have uh, one more to do. That's just going to be later tonight. But I had to get this video done because tomorrow I'm bringing these to school. Oh, that reminds me also. I um, am meeting a friend that I had from college that I have not seen in a super duper long time. And I decided I was going to bring her a little gift too. I'm going to give her this pair of mittens I've made. Uh, last year, I was making a lot of mittens for a while. I was really loving that pattern. Um, it's a yarn inspirations pattern. It's a nice big mitten. It matches me quite nice today. Um, they don't completely match, but they're close enough. Okay, so that's why they're in that bag, because I need to go upstairs and put this in a gift bag. Okay. Now, here we go. The holy cats. That's a lot of hats. I'm going to try my best to tell you what yarn it's made out of. I can for sure tell you the brand, but I can't always remember the color. At some point I was saving the labels and then I quit. I need a stool. Can you help me bring this little, there we go, there we go. Okay, why do you think I bought this? Okay, Flynn's saying hi. Okay, so here we go. Um, I put this hat in here. It doesn't have a pom-pom. This is actually left over from last year. This is crocheted in the back, um, the back loop, half double crochet in a rectangle, and then I cinched the top together. No pom-pom on this one. I ran out, and for some reason, I have this in the bag. It's very small, definitely a kid's hat. I'm going to put that over there. Okay, this one is the only one that I did on the knitting machine. This is a Red Heart yarn. Um, this is the best one I've ever done on a knitting machine. Usually the other ones, I've been missing stitches. And this one has a snappable pom-pom. I did not have enough snappable pom-poms to do this year. So I had to order them online and I made a mistake and ordered ones with elastics. So this hat is the only one in this style this is a two layered hat that folds over. Do you see that? That's how you make them. They're like a tube, those knitting machine hats. This one is Premier Sweet Rolls and it looks supposed to look like a watermelon. This one is also a snappable pom-pom. This one I actually knitted in a flat panel and seamed up the side. This is the pattern that comes on those Sesame Street hats. Sesame Street yarn with a little head on them. This one I made up my own pattern for. I saw a bunch of people wearing hats with that reverse. It's actually not that bad, so if nobody takes this one, I'm going to keep it. And I put a gray pom-pom on it. No pattern. This is Red Heart Cafe. <clears throat> this is a Red Heart Tweed. Just a regular hat, nothing fancy, brown pom-pom. And it is a snappable pom-pom. That means I'm gonna have to send out two emails. This is an ombre yarn, 
blue ice, I think. And then look at that. This is a Karen Simply Soft Ombre, teal, real teal. And then it's got this white fluffy pom-pom. And this one is a snappable pom-pom. Girl, my hair is getting crazy. Okay, I'm gonna stop putting them on. This one is a red heart. I don't remember the colorway. I've never used this one before, but it's got a nice chocolatey brown pom-pom to go with. But it's definitely a red heart variegated. I knitted it and it looks very camouflage. This one is a tweed as well. I got this off of Amazon from Knit Pals. And I have a purple and this one is also a snappable pom-pom. Yeah, it is. I have far more snappable ones than I think. Or maybe they're all just on top because I did them last. Here is a yarn that I got from Joann's. I don't remember what it is, but I made it a while ago. I put it in a video for you guys. And then I had bought, it's a variegated gray, and I actually had started crocheting a swatch so you could see the difference in how the yarn looks knitted or crocheted. It looks very stripy knitted. I just said I was gonna stop putting them on, and there it is. Here's another one. This is a Red Heart yarn. This one is terrible. I hate this hat. Actually, I made this hat for last year. Nobody took it. It was the extra hat. So I'm putting it in again. And then this one here has this kind of a weird pom-pom. Trying to rough it up. Because it keeps just going over to the side. I actually hate this hat. Okay, next one. This one is one of my favorites. It's made out of this yarn right here. Red Heart Sutherland Stripe, except for I cut out the brown. So I didn't put the brown in there and I'm really loving it. This one has a, this one has an elastic pom-pom with a button on the inside. So I really like this hat. I'm hoping that Harrison chooses this one. Yeah, I do like it. Okay, fix my hair. Now I also have, I wish I could remember what, I wanna say this is Lion Brand or Premier. This is pink with some black flecks, so it has a nice bushy black pom-pom. Again, this is a snap, uh, this one here is the button with the elastic. So I just sew the button in there and then I stretch the elastic over the button so that it stays in there. Okay, don't fall. This one is made out of some Crayola yarn from Lion Brand, and it has a big snappable pom-pom on it. There you go. It's red acrylic, red Crayola yarn. This one also, this is the same brand as that yellow one. Not yellow, that gray and pinkish one. I can't remember what it's made of, but I got it at Michael's, I thought but it's a green variegated. I have it over here. Let me see. No, I lied to you. I don't have it over there. Okay, next hat. This is another one that came out very stripy, kind of camouflagey. I think this is a girl's hat. There's a lot of pink in it. This also is a buttoned with an elastic pom-pom. Didn't really have any hot pink butt pom-poms. Um, almost done here. This one is made out of Premier yarn. I have a couple of skeins of this. I made a hat just like this last year. Here's another one, and this one also has a snappable pom-pom. I love how this yarn knits up. Or Crochet, it looks terrible, but when this knits up, you have those nice, stripes in it. I just love this yarn. Um, this one here is a rainbow yarn. Mama Lama Kayla ordered this. I think it's a premiere and I ordered it from Joanne. I ordered six skeins of it. All I had for this was a white or red pom-pom and the reds clashed. So I have that one. This is made out of Karen Simply Soft Blue. Just a plain blue hat and a blue pom-pom. Nothing fancy. Okay, oh boy. 
This one is made out of mandala blue ombre with a hot pink. Um, this pink clashed with that other one that is pink and yellow, so I put it on here. Hopefully a boy doesn't want that. Maybe he likes it. This one is mandala ombre again, but this one's like tranquil, and I cut out the green. I didn't like it. So I used the yarn that it came with, and then when it came to the green, as you can sort of see, there's green flecks in here. I cut that out and went right to the pink. And this one here is a cotton yarn, cotton acrylic mix. This pom-pom also, for some reason, won't spread out. It wants to go to the side. That's cute. I can't remember what this is. I want to say this is a cotton, some kind of a cotton cake from Joann's. It knitted up pretty nice. It's kind of a swirly pattern. Um, this is a Karen Simply Soft Camouflage Pink Camo. There's just that one section that looks like it. Otherwise, it looks real stripey. And this is also an elastic, the button. I wonder how this one's going to look on. Pretty nice. Pom-pom's a little floppy for my liking. Okay, and then this also is Karen Simply Soft. It's a pastel rainbow color. This is how this one knitted up. It does very good right in the striping at the bottom, but once you start the decrease, that's when the pattern ends up getting real kind of messed up. Do you see that? And they all get these big weird chunks. And my last one is Red Heart Fiesta. Last year, I actually really love this hat and I thought I would hate it. Last year, this yarn, I made a poncho out of for one of my kids in my second grade class and I crocheted with it and it looked very blocky kind of like Legos. And these are the primary colors that Legos in. The only thing I don't like is how the, the brim turned out, but I love the striping on this one. So that is all the hats that I made. So I'm gonna quick count them while I put them in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 19, 21, 22, 23. I have 23 hats with pom-poms. So that means every child is gonna get to choose. And what I do, I used to try to, I, I mean, I really struggled because I wanted to give each kid a present, you know, like a bag but you just don't know what hat they're gonna want. So basically I tell them, I say, hey everybody, this is your Christmas present right here in the bag. I made everybody a hat. And then I pull their sticks and I, I dump all the hats out on the table where I lay them out. And I pull their stick, the picking sticks to see who gets a turn. And I just have a couple of them come up at a time and they choose the hat that they want. And um, that way it's fair because sometimes I feel bad because I don't want people to like really have a favorite and then they don't get up there in time. You know how it is. Kids are, you know, everyone's got to be fair. And so at least, like I said, when I have 23 kids, when the last kid comes up, there will be three hats there on the table and they won't get stuck with the last one. So very exciting business. I'm very excited um, also this year, um, something else I'm doing a little different because I actually had a kid one year say, after I gave them all their hats, they're like, when are we going to get our present? I was like, girl, that is your present. <laughs> and, um, so I was actually pretty surprised by that. But then also we play bingo, a couple rounds of bingo. Well, quite, quite frankly, a lot of rounds of bingo. And I got them all a bunch of candy. So like baby bottles, suckers, push pops, this weird sour gel squeezy thing. And then I bought some erasers that are in little animal shapes with parts on them. They're like, you can take like the head and the ears and you can, I don't know, they're weird. I got them at five below. And so then they can also, we'll play bingo for the end of the day and then they can get a prize and there's actually enough for almost everybody to get two prizes, whether they want two erasers or a candy in your eraser. 
So that is that. That is my big Christmas rush for hats. And I'm gonna tell you what, you guys, I started knitting these hats this summer. I sure did. I wanna say in July, I was already knitting the hats. Um, it takes a long time to knit that many hats. I probably should have crocheted them. The first couple years, I only crocheted them. Last year, I crocheted half and knitted half, and this year, I knitted all of them. Um, I'm probably gonna go back to crocheting because it's just so much faster. But I'm very good at knitting hats now. Um, all of the hats are knitted, except for that one brown one where I did that rim, are made from Ross's pattern. Ross has a pattern that I'll put a link in the description. I think it's free from Ravelry. But when I knit it for the kids, I only knit it from the rim before I start to do the decrease at like four and a half to five inches. And then I start the decrease. Because if I did the full six inches, it's just way too big for even me. <clears throat> All right, so that is gonna be the end of this video. Um, I'm going out to dinner with a friend and leaving my family at home. And tomorrow I have an appointment with a chiropractor. I couldn't take it anymore. My back has been killing me today. I've been rolling around the classroom in my desk chair. <laughs> it just hurts so bad I can barely stand up. I don't know what I've done. I think now it's just a matter of stress. Yesterday I took a hot shower, ran in, put some like stress relieving oil on it. I can't remember what it's called, eucalyptus something oil. And it is even worse. I took two naproxen this morning. I don't know. I don't know what I did. It's just the muscles. The muscles are super, super tight. All right. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching and sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye-bye.